Hello family, welcome to Throwback on Africa Lately. As Africa mourns the passing of Ghana's former president Jerry John Rawlings, we bring you brief extracts of the life and times of this enigmatic individual. First in our series is the story of how Jerry Rawlings lost his ten fingernails whilst on trial after a botched coup attempt. Now, on May 25, 1979, Rawlings and other junior soldiers were arrested for attempting to overthrow the military regime that was at the helm known as the Supreme Military Council led by General Fred K. Akifo. On May 28, 1979, Rawlings, together with six others, were arraigned before a general court-martial in Accra, charged with leading a mutiny of junior officers and men of the Ghana Armed Forces on May 15, 1979. The ultimate price to pay for this crime was execution, and Rawlings was aware of that. But guess what, in the face of execution, he decided to take the fall for his six colleagues. He famously told the court, leave my men alone. I take responsibility for the actions of my men. After the trial, Rawlings was found guilty and was sentenced to death. As part of his punishment, though, his fingernails were plucked out. But while awaiting execution, a group of soldiers sprung him from custody, and on June 4, 1979, he led a successful overthrow of General Akifo's Supreme Military Council, and then established his Armed Forces Revolutionary Council AFRC, which handed over power to a civilian government within three months, only to take it back two years later. Thanks for your time family. See you again soon. Bye for now. During our short stay in power, have demonstrated openly what many people had only suspected before. Namely, that the holding of office in government in this country had in almost all cases been used to plunder the wealth of the nation. Ghana is looking up to you. Thank you.